Hi everyone, it's John, and Anna's getting comfortable behind me. Elsa's over out of the camera range. Um, just want to give everybody an update. It's been about a month since um, I posted because uh, I've been working on the other channel, uh, Cooking with the Cox, which the link to that is below. And those have been coming out regularly every Wednesday because I'm trying to keep uh, several episodes ahead. So that in case I can't film for a while for whatever reason, they still come out. Uh, I haven't been able to do it with this channel because, well, I've been teaching Hector how to drive. He's actually at work right now. He's been working about 60 hours a week. And um, I'm just going to show you a little video of me um, teaching him how to drive. A little snippet of, of some of the stuff we've been doing there. Uh, you can notice my homemade uh, traffic cones out of uh, Pepsi bottles. So take a look at that. I saw you make your correction right there. I saw you fixing it. Oh, that was good. I saw you fixing I'm that. I'm looking in the mirror. Huh? I'm looking in the mirror. That's what you're supposed to do is look <laughs> in the mirror. That's what I've been trying to get you to do. <gasps> so right or left. Okay, and now, I, yeah, I've also been um, on TikTok and it was Hector and John TMM um, and uh, been doing TikTok videos, trying to do one or two a day. Um, sometimes I've been going several days without it because the good news is Hector passed his driving test. So now, as soon as Hector passed his driving test, he started driving himself to work. And now I have a job working 40 hours a week too. Hector's working up to 60 hours because he's doing overtime. Um, and so our schedules have not been together much which is okay um, and then having to do the grocery shopping prepare lunches for ourselves and everything else going on right now it's been really busy uh, so hopefully I can get some more of the videos out um, to, on the weekend I can edit and everything because uh, Hector's going to change his schedule too and uh, in about a week he'll um, be able to uh, uh, we'll have the same days off and everything, so we'll be seeing each other a little bit more. Um, so here's one of the TikTok videos that I made. So I want you to check that out. And I'll post a second one at the end of the, this video. Do you have a drinking problem? No, I pretty much got it figured out. <laughs> What's your favorite beer? An open one? <laughs> How do you know when you've had too much? I run out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just like doing it. I like being creative, so I try to do the TikTok videos once in a while. And um, I've been having a little bit of fun doing that. So if you haven't checked that out, please, you know, I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, you can feel free to check them out. If you like them, give them a like. Uh, follow me there, because I try to release those. Um, I, I like to Sometimes, when I can do them, I usually do like two or three at a time, about every two or three days, uh, depending on um, <laughs> if I have the energy to do it and what creative um, things I can come up with based on the video, the sounds and everything I pick out. Um, so that's uh, some of the things that's been keeping me busy. Um, again, this whole election thing going on. Oof. 
I watched all the presidential debates and the vi the vice presidential debates, and uh, yeah, I kind of liked the way they went. Of course, the first debate was like Kendra Gardner uh, was uh, debating, but uh, I'm glad to see that they've worked it out. And the last presidential debate was more civil. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I know the way things are going to change. I'm just kind of afraid of what's going to happen after the election's over. But um, I'm probably going to try to go vote early, and I encourage everybody else to vote early because there's already, with, at the time I'm making this video, more than 20 million people have already voted, which is amazing. Um, so I may try to go vote on my next day off early before I do the grocery shopping. And uh, if not, then I'm probably going to wait to the day of to get it done. Um, so whatever I can do um, to vote, I will. But I'm going to try to vote early. But it's been the lines have been incredible outside the Board of Elections to vote. They've been, you know, around the shopping center mall and around the building. It, it just looks like the lines miles long. But people are waiting in line hours to vote, and I think that really says something about um, the state the country's in and how people want to see it change. At least that's what I'm hoping is the case. Um, so let's see what else is going on. Um, the dogs are fine. I'm going to kind of move the camera so you can see them because Anna moved on me. And there's Anna and Elsa. Hey, Elsa. <laughs> oh. so, I've been trying to lose weight, but for me doing the cooking show and everything, it's it's <laughs> hasn't happened. And speaking of the, the cooking show with cooking with the Cox, um, there's meals and um, just desserts and everything else on there, and uh, there's already several videos. So check those out. The description is below. Well, and another thing is that I'm hoping that, uh, you know, here's Nike. I'm hoping that um, something happens with COVID soon. There's a vaccine and things go back to normal as soon as possible. Again, you can't tell. Uh, I don't think we'll know the real facts until after January um, to see where we actually stand and how quickly things can actually be done. Um, you know, hopefully, again, the vaccine and, and will come out soon. The more time we give this, the more lives are going to be lost to this. So hopefully uh, something can be done pretty soon uh, to help save the lives that we can. Um, and. Um, So I hope everyone is um, doing what they can to stay safe. Um, I know when I go to work, they are always checking the temperature as we're driving in. Um, and if it, our temperature is over 100.4 degrees, we, we can't even go to work. Uh, and then there's a process to follow up on before we can return to work. Uh, plus, they're uh, making us wear masks and staying six feet apart. So we're not only wearing the mask, we're trying to keep our distance as much as possible, too. Uh, and as far as everything seems to be really clean and um, they, they do regular cleanings with everything that I have to do at work. So it seems to be uh, taking every precaution to keep the employees safe there, which is great. Um, and um, again, I just hope things turn back to normal as soon as they can. Everybody's kind of on edge and getting antsy. and, and Want to, want to socialize with other people. I totally get that. Um, um, you know, usually I play volleyball in the winter and the, um, in the fall. Uh, and this fall, they no messages, no nothing. I, I think they just didn't, they canceled it because it's an indoor volleyball. And because it's an indoor sport, it's, it didn't happen. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of look forward to getting back to that. If um, something doesn't happen by December, then I doubt the uh, winter volleyball will happen either. Um, but, 
one good thing to look forward to in winter, hopefully no matter what, because I know that they've postponed the release of this movie several times, Wonder Woman 1984, can't wait for it to come out. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to going and seeing that. Again, I've been to, I said in a previous video, I went to see New Mutants when it came out of the theater, and there was hardly anybody in the theater, because people are afraid to go to the theaters, even though uh, I went to Cinemark, not Cinemark, I went to Marcus, and Marcus had everything set up where you can order the food ahead of time, it'd be waiting for you, you didn't have to con come into contact with anybody in the theater. And um, they have the tape on the seat, so if you, once you get to your seat, you pull the tape off, and once you sit there, they know who's been in that theater, and they take time in between to clean where you've been uh, very carefully. So they're trying to make everything safe for people um, to see movies, and I know a lot of movies aren't coming out because of um, they're afraid people aren't going to come, and people aren't at this point. Um, so, you know, even if they postpone Wonder Woman 1984 again, you know, whatever they want to do, I just can't wait to actually see the movie, because I know it's, it's been a while. Um, so, yeah, that's one thing I look forward to. Um, yeah, in, in, in the comments below, feel free to comment and let me know what you can't wait to do again, because there's so many things that I really can't wait to do again. But again, my husband did it. He finally got his driver's license and he's been driving to work every day, which frees me up to work again and <sighs> it's been busy. <laughs> so until next time, take care and I'm going to show you one more talk Tic Tac video and thank you for watching. You know what I'm thinking? Oh, my God.